the fun begins. Hello! Welcome to the Council. We begin tonight's meeting of the Council by calling the Council to order. Hello to everyone and thank you for joining us. The Council is a live Twitch talk show and podcast discussing Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm Elise and with me are my fellow Council members. Redna! Howdy doody! <laughs> Magic Ace! Yo! <laughs> and Sakari. Hello everybody! Tonight, we're going to be talking about the new expansion on slots gearing system. I know everybody's been waiting with bated breath about this. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting with. <laughs> Dude, I'm jazzercised. Come on. Okay. Wow. Jazzercised. I love it. We'll wow, is we'll this like a time travel later. back to the 80s? Jazzercised. Love it. And after, <laughs> after this live broadcast, you can. You can find our recorded episodes everywhere podcasts are found, like our YouTube channel. You can check out our social medias, which is like Twitch, or you can also find us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash council sotor. You can also find us on Twitter, which is at the council sotor. We also have our beautiful webpage, which was designed by Sakari, and it is www.thecouncilsotor.com. And we also have Patreon, which is patreon.com slash council sotor. But wait, there's more. If you genuinely find any kind of browser, literally any of them, and you type in The Council Sotor, you will find our beautiful faces and other things. And you can hear my child crying in the back. <laughs> you will find our beautiful faces or the lack thereof. How about that? You can, also just, <laughs> you can also just find random information about us. It's fine. But don't worry. My face is not present, so our ugly faces are not contained. <laughs> That's where Redden and I grow our beards. So we at least hide half of it, I think. We can wookiefy. All right. Um, all right. Well, so, because of the five head, about a third. <laughs> right. Yeah, the proportions are a little, a little different sometimes. I guess it's okay. I, I try to hide my ears with my hair. So. Actually, of elf. So that's why you it. have long hair now. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm suddenly envisioning him with short hair and big dumbo ears. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Maybe that's what I'm hiding. You never know. Uh, but yes, welcome everybody. It has been two weeks. It's always good to have everybody back once we've taken um, some time. So we, we've got a lot to cover tonight. Thought I'd do it a little bit different with the icebreaker tonight, which, as you know, of course, is just a little something to get the discussion going. Um, tonight's icebreaker has absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with what we're talking about, which is actually kind of written as style. So no spoilers. And chat, please join in. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. But remember, no spoilers. That's the rule. Have you had a chance to see The Mandalorian yet? Um, if so, would you recommend it? Uh, if not, uh, do you want to see it? And um, how is the uh, spoiler avoidance going so far if you have not? Um, I know we have a bunch of lore junkies here. I would be surprised if we haven't seen it. But you never know. I'm always surprised at the way we answer things. Redna, um, what about you? I was going to ask that I get to go first so that I can say first and foremost, I have not seen it and I've not been spoiled. Really? So don't even make some s small little comment to, to ruin it for me. I can't afford Disney Plus. How would I have seen it? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's problematic. I need to share you my life. You're muted, Elise. Yeah, it's actually, uh, we're, we will be Thank you. doing the week free subscription soon enough. But I've been yes. able to get uh, the wife to hold off on jumping in right away, which is good because we, you know, you heard about all those first day trials and tribulations. And then apparently now there are articles coming out that thousands of accounts have been hacked and stuff. So oh, I'm sure <laughs> I'm glad that we don't ha have ourselves exposed to any of that yet. Yeah. The other thing is I actually. Yeah, I like how I you heard... say yet. We are not exposed to that. <laughs> it's yet. coming, though. <laughs> we great. will be, but not yet. Of course, of course. Uh, I, and I heard that Mandalore that the show is actually supposed to be completed for the season before the end of the year, right? So the longer I can wait, the the easier it will be for me to binge the Mandalorian in its entirety. And I think that's okay. why people are holding off is because they want to do the binge thing, and the whole week week by week release is kind of bothersome. So, you mean old school, like how I had to watch all right. my shows growing up? Word. I had to wait Absolutely. every single week. Word. So people are so addicted to binging that they can't watch TV the way it was intended? Yeah, Preach welcome it. to the That's new okay. Mandalorian. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all the time. Not, not Mandalorian. <laughs> welcome to the new millennia. 
Uh, the, well, and the other thing is actually, it's well worth mm -hmm. saying. Like I, in this instance, I'm actually, I'm willing to be hypersensitive to the spoilers because there are many countries that don't have access to Disney Plus yet. And they won't yes. until like March or later of next year. Yeah, so I know like, U UK is like so been out of shape around it right now. They, they're like, they're everyone I've spoken to online. There's a God <laughs> forbid that so American -based. the Netherlands is the only country in Europe that has access right now. Of all God countries, forbid that, that an American based company provides things to America first. <gasps> oh gosh, <laughs> everybody panic. Everybody panic. This is Disney. Don't tell me they don't have I, money to do a world world uh, launch. I don't know. That's that not the I'm point. They have panic, to deal with but... countries all over the world with all their different laws and things. And you know, they're all about the money, which is why they destroyed my childhood for money. So this right. shouldn't be a shock to anybody. So so I'll give you this. I don't think this is a spoiler, but I think it's Yes, but it is also kind of us to uh be respectful of people's inability to even access the content yeah yeah well so so the good thing is that i don't feel like there is a cliffhanger that makes you absolutely dying to watch the next episode like i've not smelled it it feels like a long there's a long story to be told here and it's not cliffhanger 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 the way that they try to keep you hooked on other bingy sh like shows so it, 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 well, it's, that was, was normal like television back in the day. Was yeah, like the thing that got you to come back the next week was because they had the cliffhanger, and it's like, crap. Okay, well, what? What? You know, it's like you're waiting to actually get the show to start because, all right, sweet, what happens next? That's and that's how, like, if you're going to be releasing it week to week, you should be having cliffhangers. Like yeah. binge worthy, it's actually like, okay, you get to watch as much as you want, but there's nothing. Yeah. There's no obligation. It's, yeah. To end every episode with a cliffhanger if you're going to be watching three in a row. You know. Right. Oh, it's it's cool. I mean, it's it's all right, you know. But but I like that it's it seems like it's going to be a long story, and that's what I appreciate. It's like good writing. So here we go. We'll see what happens. I, I guess I have been spoiled in one sense, and this will help me to pass it off to find out if Magic Ace has even seen it. But I did hear that we had John Favreau as well as George Lucas and Dave Filoni all working together on this project cool. like they were actually and there are photos of them all sitting side by side on set okay which for don't the old school fanboys and, and legends lovers that yeah. is so I was like don't tease me with that because i will suddenly have to make a way to make that happen <laughs> that's the key don't tease me i don't want to know anything i so actually you haven't have not seen, seen it, yet? it i have not seen it because i am a budget okay okay this, this i'm a budget incarnate and a month ago, my budget got like really screwed up and it was so frustrating because if my money is not tightly controlled the way I want it to be, it's chaos for me. My mind literally like everything feels like my entire life has fallen apart. Once I get it back in order, I'm like, no, I'm messing up my budget. Uh, so okay, right now, you guys, you doing too. that would really mess up my budget. Like, <laughs> hardcore. And since nobody's going to pay for Disney for me and my kids, that means it's going to have to wait. Because my kids, <laughs> trust me, Fair enough. my kids will love it. My daughter's favorite show is Little Einstein's. Guess who took it off of Netflix? Disney. Because they want it on their thing. So my yeah. daughter no longer gets her daily dose of Little Einstein's, except for the DVDs that we bought. And I got to oh, tell you, I'm really, really tired of the same seven episodes over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Library? Yeah, actually, Elise is right. Mm -hmm. Library. Yeah, yeah hit uh, the I library. Agreed. Yeah, totally. I haven't really gone to the library in forever because, like, I just started buying all my books. I, I didn't want to have to give them back. I want to reread right. them. So start yeah, buying absolutely. Them again. You're a collector e now. Go. The e-loaning, though, if your library has that, which I bet they That's do. That's true. They, they do have it. They return it for that. you, so you never get anything That's overdue. True. That's true. So that's what yeah. I've been doing. I've not been spoiled except for the Baby Yoda thing Neff brought up. Uh, so we I, may have somebody to talk. Sent that See, to me. there you go. You just spoiled something. Boom. Me. I have no but idea I what know. you're talking about, and but I don't I even don't want know. to hear those two words together. You know, that's I don't know that it's actually Yoda. I don't know that it's actually Yoda. It's, it's Nobody a, knows. What... It's from the species that Yoda is. and so yeah. Regardless, okay, you're spoiling stuff. Spoiling stuff. That's more than okay. I wanted to okay. go. So, it so, might be. All right, hold on, hold on. I don't know, Redna. I'm baby. Just what I'm saying. I don't actually... I don't want to know it exists. I didn't know that. There's baby, a baby, baby Yoda in the Star it's Wars. It's not a baby now. Yoda. It's a baby Yaddle. And I shouldn't be yelling loudly. That's what I, I, I wondered if it was Yaddle. Um, well, I, yeah. I don't. Okay. We should move on from this because Redna's going to get triggered. You guys are funny. So I'm, what amazes me. I didn't get to say what I, and I'm no, not going to say yes. anything about it. Like I want to hear Elise answer. I didn't talk. know about any of this until Saturday when I watched the show. So I managed to keep myself completely unspoiled. Also, I'm anti-Disney right now and I'm a total buzzkill <laughs> when it comes to anything Disney. So I'm pretty sure me spending seven ninety nine or whatever it is a month, which is oh. 
anger me more because I'd be like, now I'm paying monthly for this destruction of my life. So I'm sorry I feel for you. I managed to do it because I am spoiled by my uh, oldest who is who has it, and we all get to use his his uh-huh. stuff. There you go. <laughs> yes, this is the great thing is that it, it does. So of course I've done all my research. It's four concurrent streams can be going at one time. Yeah. You know, which is twice as much as Netflix was giving me before I, I had to I was about to say <laughs> that is a draw only because when I have two kids that want to watch two different shows and I want to catch up on a show, it is frustrating, which is the one Bryce said and my parents also let me use their account because then that means one of my kids can watch on their account and then myself and my other kid can watch on my account. But otherwise it's super annoying because I'm not going to pay extra for my family to watch at the same table, three different shows. <laughs> Well, and actually, as someone who doesn't, hasn't had cable since 2010, the one thing that everyone should be aware of is the freaking $12.99 a month bundle with both Hulu Plus and ESPN Plus. Uh, And those are all separate accounts, so they don't even count against one another's concurrent streaming. That's all like big wins. So that's what we do plan on getting once we get it. See, I don't Um, have to worry about my kids' streams in the background. (laughs) I get Hulu with my Spotify. I don't pay any extra. And since I'm never going to not pay for Spotify, why not enjoy Hulu for free? Yeah. So, you know, uh, uh, Elise, is, uh, did you, did you, would you recommend it? If not, and if not, do you want, oh wait. If you did, oh, about yeah. Mandalorian or are we talking about Disney? Yeah, would you, would you recommend the Mandalorian? <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. Um, you can't get one without the other. So. Yeah, it for me, um, much I'm like relationships and people. I'm just going to talk about like presentation and feeling, not content. Both. Very much reminds me of uh, early 80s TV. Um, like, you know, Kung like, like, like really the cheesy. The A-team. <laughs> Are we yeah. talking like really yeah. cheesy here? Like the like no. cheesy explosions no. and stuff? No. Mm-mm. Oh, man, because I was going to be endearing. I was going to be like, I'm in. Sign up tonight. Kind of, you know, you show up for the episode, you watch the episode, the episode. There's a continuing story, but the episode think, just kind of feels done. Think Night Rider. Right? Yeah. <laughs> also, like up, the first, they do the thing. Like the first so, couple oh, episodes, or the first couple seasons of, like, Smallville. I didn't see Smallville. So oh, oh okay. Redna. That's my, oh. that is my teenage years. Thank but, you. I love you. I love Some Tom oh. Welling. Yeah, I remember this that. This is why was, you, get, you get 30 time. days free on Hulu for freaking okay. uh, uh, the trial period. So, like, I already subbed up for a free trial on that one and i've been watching smallville it's like i have them all on dvd though so (laughs) i have to have everything i got all the smallville except for i think season nine all right i'll hurry up and finish so that sakari can do it but yeah that's what it feels like and also the presentation and all of it very much feels early 80s like yeah yeah, sakari you're 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 you, you guys are you know what i'm talking about like that kind of the cinema well, so it's, it's not it's not very... it's not effective i was expecting something star wars to be so much more cgi yeah. and it's it's not it's it's yeah, it now you're making stuff. me want to ask spoiler questions so i'm not even gonna yeah no, i don't i, I so have I'm heard that say, it's like I'm a western does story. it have that western feel to it does I, I would yes. say a western yeah yes. absolutely it's, 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 it's kind of music is very western i told my husband i keep waiting for you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly theme to start playing. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's, so, that's great. Cool. Yeah, so well, that, that's, an 80s that's, that's, yeah, that's, cool. that's that's what it feels like to me. I could be wrong. Other people might have another opinion, but that's the whole time I was watching it. That's what it felt like yeah. to me. No, I agree. I, I agree that every episode kind of closes a chapter. In fact, they call them chapters. Chapter one, chapter two. Um, so that's cool. I, I like that there's no cliffhangers because for me that helps me wait from week to week. Whereas I would be dying if there was like a cliffhanger kind of thing. It's not hard hitting either. It's like there's sort of a cliffhanger a story. though. The base story is still ongoing. So, it is, yes. so you have the base story, but there's like a you know just like a Knight Rider, right? He's yeah. looking for something the whole series. Yeah. But every time there's some person they have to help or yeah. whatever. No, so, it's good. I mean, like, I, I, in my opinion, you have both. I like chapters this Knight Rider comparison because that makes sense, right? If it's about a bounty hunter, I'm assuming the Mandalorian's a bounty hunter, right? And if it's about a bounty hunter, then he's got his contracts he's got to do week to week, but then he's got this overarching life goal that he's working towards or whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I mean, and, it's, and, it's and cool. obviously, Sakari, you liked it, and would you recommend it? How, yeah, I liked, it? I liked it. I would recommend it, but in all honesty, there is actually so little of the story that's told. In just two episodes that are out right now, I I need more data to be able to actually 
honestly answer that question and say yes go see this show it's great you know what i'm saying it's like a, it's a, we've only really just dipped our toe in the water so we're getting the feel of this thing we're still kind of deciding what we think about it but there hasn't been really any significant character development or any they've just kind of wet the whistle so it's it's very premature i would say to say that sounds dirty. that's actually really good to know so what you're saying is magic ace and i holding off for now you're yeah. not saying rush towards it yet yes but. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, the problem. Uh, people though, the, problem the spoilers the will get you. People who are huge in the Mandalorian culture probably would not feel that way because they're probably wanting to watch them multiple times. Like, well, well I was gonna say right? actually because right. be this is something though, I've got to ask my my co-host with... from my other show. The one thing I do have to I have to talk to him because that's him. He's diehard Mando Legends material. And he was part of that community that was upset by how it was handled in the Clone Wars television series, but also came to the realization that ultimately, if you really pay attention to what was in the television series, it actually keeps it open for all, everything that had been taught us before to mm. still be uh, a part of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. So I am looking forward to talking to him about that to see how it's being represented in this television series in particular. The problem uh, the with holding off, though, is that if... Just like when TV does episodes week to week, if there's not a large audience watching week to week, eventually the show gets canceled. If they're not feeling like they're going to get their money out of it, they won't keep going. So the problem, though, with people holding off and not like paying for it to watch the show is eventually Disney might be like, well, we're not getting enough feedback on it. And yeah, they might and they, cut it. I agree. And yeah, they would have I, only I'm themselves to blame. That, that hasn't been a problem. <laughs> yeah. no, there's there's yes. a cult following yes. already. But I'm just saying, like, that is a reality. When it comes to TV, that is something that can happen and still does happen. So that is something to remember. Anyways. I agree. So, the show. So, okay. So, I'm, I imagine we'll probably touch on this from time to time. Um, next episode, we'll touch on Fallen Order, I imagine, and see what anybody has to say about what, you know, because I don't know if we're all going to play it off the bat, but... Yeah. There's footage of people playing. No, because my game budget's already spent because right. <laughs> Sims 4 had a new expansion and then Death Stranding, so... <sighs> oh, wait. And yeah. some of us are still a little grouchy about some choices, so I have it in this house right now, and I have not played it oh, yet. Oh, okay. Well, so, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I'm, we'll just see, but let's. I want to give it a little Actually, bit of time I, before we I'm touch really on that one. I'm looking forward to talking about that our icebreaker next time. <laughs> yes, yes. So, okay, um, what we wanted to talk about this episode was uh, gearing. Uh, if you, Those of you who are part of our last episode will recall uh, that we did this. We really just touched on story and on um, music. I think we touched on um, the the surroundings, right? The, the, the environments of Mech Shah and Onderon. And, the new and, loading and screen. The new loading screen. <laughs> we, we certainly did that one to death. So, wow, we went way deep. So <laughs> we did. We did. And and Red and I waxed poetic about the music. It was very a, a very interesting um, episode, I guess. But uh, it's funny. It's a little known fact that I actually am a huge music geek. But yeah, well, that's cool. No, I mean, like I, I think it's good to have a meaningful discussion because I think music is so underrated as one of the. It really moves you emotionally. It kind of ties you to what you're what you're viewing. So. I, I just think it's, well, it's worth discussing. I genuinely believe that a significant portion of the success of the entire Star Wars franchise is tied to the music of Star Wars. And, uh, oh my gosh, now my brain is frying because I'm here in the yes. Cape Friend. So, so join us, join us Patreon. Composer, John Williams. John yes. Williams. So I I, he, like his genius, I think, is key. Absolutely. By the way, um, Ridden, at some point you and I need to talk about the Rogue One music. They try to make it. That's yeah, a separate discussion. Not, I don't want to get into right it now. now. Maybe after the show, we could talk about it. And so our patrons have, we'll have cool. something to, to get into. Anyway, so we're talking uh, this week about gearing. We, we touched on it very briefly, but we all felt that it was enough. There was enough there to where it warranted kind of like its whole episode or as a case, maybe, maybe 60% of an episode now. So uh, we left it to this week. And so that's what we want to go on to into now. Now, I'm going to start with my first impression, which I know is unfair of the game, of gearing. I haven't really played very much, in all honesty, of the last couple of weeks. And so I kind of dipped my toe in the water. I, I leveled the character to up, 275, but I've not really del delved into gearing to, to really learn what it's all about and, and all of that stuff. But my, my first impressions, based on what I saw so far, 
left me deflated i i was like oh my goodness how am i ever going to get focus on all of these characters get them all, all geared up figure my way out I, I feel overwhelmed with how much stuff is out there um you know figuring out what set bonuses to use what tacticals and then then after they're getting into the ampli amplifiers and figuring out what all of those to use so i suppose what i'm going to do at this point is say magic ace please help me <laughs> I will not be able to help you with all of them since I'm still learning and trying to figure it out myself. I am pretty certain, and this is technically me, I guess, giving her boost, but it's not intentional. It's just because she is also a content creator who's working on this. I'm pretty sure Zamzam is working on putting stuff out that tells you what you need because I know she's reached out to someone that um, I know is exclusive yes. to doing Sork things and whatnot. So uh, he's working on the guide that he will be giving her. So I'm pretty certain she's putting out a lot of stuff on this. Zam so Zam has been when that comes out, I'm great. I'm sure we can link it. This. And yeah, I'm sure we can put that in like our show notes and stuff, but currently pretty sure it's not. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not um, done yet, but anyways, um, here's a quick thing. Your tech fragments the cap is way insanely low to five K. Do not go over five K. Go buy a set piece. If you're going to do group finder and you think you're going to go over in your cap, don't do it. Wait, ask them to wait. <laughs> don't okay. actually go. Go to fleet and buy a piece. And you cannot buy a piece unless you are 75. So if you have to swap to get on a 75 character, I really highly suggest you do it. Do not wait. Go get a piece of gear for any character. I don't care which one. Even if you don't remember what set you're buying, you can always sell it back after you get done because the uh, the buying timer. Yes. So you don't want to go okay, over Okay, so you're back. saying that tech fragments come very quickly. I That wasn't my experience. Why is that? What are you doing that, that gives you, you tech fragments? Content? No, are you doing probably not. So, so, it, so what's giving Flash you the tech points. fragments? Oh, is Do it Flash because you're... Give it to you too, or is it both Flash points, like... operations. I've not done uprisings, but I've heard a lot of people are doing that. I've been doing war zones and getting several crates. Doing your both of your dailies and your weekly gives you like a crap ton of fragments from what I have can what I can see. Okay. Um, I'm seeing weeklies in chat. Thank you, Niff. Yes. Week, your weeklies are huge. Do not do an operation or flashpoints unless you have the weekly. Don't. It's, it's a waste. Go get your weekly. Um... I seriously, like, every night, I'm like, hold on, guys, don't queue yet, wait, or, like, you guys go ahead and jump in the phase and kill trash, I'm gonna go buy a piece, because that's literally every night I have to buy a new piece, because I'm capped on frags almost. Um, the other thing is, I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, I have to gear up all these characters, but wait, you don't have to. But wait, there's the more. The biggest thing. Yeah, <laughs> there's more. Infomercial Magic is here to help. Um, so, basically... What I did is, and it, it is a bit expensive, but if you want it to be less expensive overall, it's best to do this way. Pick one character that you want to get all the way to level, like item rating 306. You want to take out pieces, even if it messes up your stats, even if it's not, even if it's tank gear, if it is a higher item rating, pull out the mod, pull out the armoring, pull out the enhancement, whatever it is, and put it in the piece that you're wearing because it ups your item rating. Once your item rating gets to one oh or three oh six, sorry, yikes, three oh six, then you can start getting gear that actually you want to put in there. And I'm going to copy this and put it into Twitch right now. This is just kind of an idea of some of the stuff you want to be looking for. Um, these are the BIS, which is best in slot. Okay. Um, and we want. There, there's a lot there. I'm going to make sure this goes yeah. to the show notes. As yeah, well. put that in the show notes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so that you it looks smaller look at in it Discord, later. but it's a lot bigger on Twitch because of the proportion there. But either way, um, so basically you want to get the best for whatever you're putting in. So what I'm doing is I'm disintegrating any pieces that don't match things like this. After I get to 306. After. Not before. After. And I'm just putting it all in my legacy bank. Because now that all my crafting materials can come out and go in my inventory, and then I click that little gem, and it sends them all into my little, like, side satchel, um, I now have, like, three empty tabs in my legacy bank for the first time since legacy bank was given to us. So I'm now putting, like, armorings in one, mods in another, and enhancements in another. Like, even if it gets filled. Because my what I... Wow, doing, you're able to do that? That's I am. 
impressive. Because, That's because impressive. everything is legacy bound now. If it's, you know, your old gear is not legacy bound. What about like implants and relics in your pieces? Yes. Yeah. That, I don't, what I, no, no. Well, I mean, I just put that in whatever tab that I have my legacy gear in because I'm bringing it all with me. So, like, when last night I had to Merc Hill and I'm operative main this time around. So, I got my six piece on it, my set bonus, and then I just went to my tab and literally just went and got the armory and the mod and the enhancement, put it in there and augmented it, and boom, went right into a Nim raid. Like, I'm trying to keep it organized per tab, but with my relics, for my healers, I basically need the same relics. Like, they don't really change. I have four relics that I have augmented that I keep on the little side tab, like in my fourth tab. And depending on which character I'm bringing, I'll select the relic that I need from that. And my implants, I'm going all alacrity because I mainly heal. And for my lightning sword, I am also using the same implants. And since I'm not really DPSing yet on any other classes, I'm not needing it. Once I do different classes, I might need something different, but I have not yet got to that point. Um, lightning sword was what I DPSed on primarily before all this came out. Mm -hmm. Before it was flavor of the month. So now that's flavor before it was everybody's cool. doing. Yep. Now I have to compete, which I'm a little annoyed. Back about. when Lightning Sork was awful. <laughs> yeah, listen, I played. The answer should be cool good kids. to make it good. I played hey, before. Lightning Sork was, cool. was cool. They just didn't know how to do it right. Well, even mm. then, trust me, Bronta's burn. Oh, it was so embarrassing. I got hard carried. Oh, so embarrassing. Anyways, <laughs> um, thank you. By the way, the person who carried me is in chat. It was so cool, are, regardless you. of how well you perform. Oh, yes, but now <laughs> Stormwatch makes it, like, insane. Stormwatch with the, um, what is it, Storm Chaser or Storm Catcher, something, something, that's that bonus, makes it, like... For the uninitiated, insane. to what are you referring? What is Stormwatch? Uh, this is specifically the um, tactical you want. And all your tacticals are legacy-bound, too, once the timer comes off. So I just keep, like, say I, I have six operatives, okay, and I swap back and forth and heal on them. So I take all of my you know what now 15 pieces out and i put them in my legacy bank and because depending on the fight i may want a different tactical sometimes i'll take both tacticals with me or like three tacticals with me and change per fight because there's some fights where you're going to do more aoe or where you're going to do more i knew that target. was where that was going to go with the yes, tacticals I people do. were going to switch them out you know have oh yeah a couple because three especially because like, the one that always makes me think is the uh, second to last boss fight in uh shadow of revan where uh, it's basically just waves of AOE. Oh, like now that you've got thing. all these tacticals, that is so freaking crazy. One thing that's very important yeah. to note: if you like doing dreadful or hateful, you're gonna have to have a different headpiece, which could break up your six piece. So if yes. you only do the chest and below as your set piece bonus, and you get like Scion, what was that headpiece? The um, I want to say it was like the something champion headpiece i'd have to log into the game to look at it it's like conquered champions or something like that anyways it is a um amplified champion thank you the amplified champion headpiece um and per whatever class you're going to roll it on you'll want a different amplifier but um amplifiers change per class that you are running so you like i won't use med tech on my sork you know like i'm going to use something different for that so each one will be a little different um, and if you don't do operations that much and you, you know, you do mostly story stuff, then you're going to want different amplifiers as well. So I can't really give you the guide to that, which is why I mentioned uh, Zamzam, because I'm pretty sure she's going to cover all that stuff. However, um, if you think at any point in time those you're going to want to do those hateful people that don't know who Zamzam is, it's XAM, XAM. Actually, yeah, we'll have a link to her site in the show notes, but it's MMOBits.com, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. So we'll link to it in the show notes. Probably. So Google yeah, anyways, Zam, Zam, yes, you will want Twitter, to get so. that amplified champion headpiece because then it won't break up your six piece set bonus because you don't need seven. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll that'll help you in that regard. Also, um, the other thing is, if you're never like if you're never going to need the highest end augments, go ahead and keep using the MK10 kits and put in your old augments from last year. Because unless you're going to be parsing and like really like doing the new nightmare content that will be coming out, you're not going to need it. Like you're not. And if you do old content, you're going to need different, the different relics anyways. The clicky alacrity relic that gives you a little more alacrity is what you're going to want for the old content. So unless you were one of the few people left in this is game. Is that because that it's really level syncing you down? Yes. So the level sync really affects like 
how your gear is going to work for you. If you're going to go into the new stuff, then you want different relics, which is what I put in the stuff in the Twitch chat. The, the best in slot stuff, right? Yes, yeah. Your best in slot will be slightly different for that one. Um, also, people are finding out that we're killing things way fast. Like, way fast. Did DF last night. Everything died so hard. But here's the problem that people are coming into. Because things are dying so fast, people are ignoring mechanics. So I would like to very much impress upon any of you, whether it's story mode, hard mode, or nightmare. Mm -hmm. Please do the mechanics. Right, this because good behavior. It, yes, just because things because are Because your DPS is so hot that yes. you're not actually doing mechanics. So then when they, they turn it up, you're going to be out of practice. Is that where you're or going? Or like, say, say like, okay, in... Um, in Brontes, there's a part where she has lightning going around. We call it the clock phase. Mm -hmm. And there are droids that you have to kill before the lightning hits them. Because once the lightning hits the droid, it explodes and wipes the group. So what I've been noticing, because this is now the third time I've attempted it since 6.0 has come out. And I say attempt because I've only killed one out of four times. It's been very frustrating. Because people are just... Like, oh, well... Just burning Brontes instead of... yeah. Well, no, because at that point she's got a shield. If you're burning Brontes, then I will kick you out of the raid. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, Fair enough. No, but, like, they're like, oh, well, I'll leave and go to the next droid because these guys have got it. Well, I mean, if you have four DPS and oh. two of them leave to go to the next droid, it doesn't matter how good your DPS is. The droid's not going to die. So it's like people ignoring mechanics because they think the DPS will carry them. It's frustrating. Like, last tier healers carried. This tier, it's DPS carrying. But if you don't do the mechanics, it's still not worth it. So just because your gear and your DPS is upped doesn't mean that the rate has not been upped. Yes, the level sinking and things are different and things are dying faster, but the mechanics are still very much important. And ignoring the mechanics is going to make your group mad. And then when you wonder why you've been kicked and you're no longer in a raid group, you can think back to this moment when Magic said, please don't ignore mechanics. Okay, that was a PSA and a little bit of a tangent. <laughs> All right. Now that that is done, Fair back enough. to gear. Um, crafting wise, there are certain tacticals that you cannot get unless you craft them, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, we've always had augments and augment kits that you have to craft to do, but I don't have the list with me. I had the list and I didn't save the document. Uh, so I no longer have the list. I'm sorry, but, um, I will try to get that to Sakari so that he can put it in the show notes for this. There is a, um, there is a. I think it's like one for each class or two for each class, something like that, of tacticals you cannot get unless you craft them. And then there's even more rare ones that are on the Kai Zyken vendor. And that's like a random chance. Like you're just literally like, let let me let me just say that, let's say I've got all of my characters with everything they want and I've got tech frags to spare. I might go to Kai Zyken and gamble and see if I can get some of these schematics to craft these things. Um because I'm like, well, I've got nothing left. But at this point in time, I don't feel like flushing my very precious tech flag frags down the toilet to possibly get the schematic that could possibly craft this. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it is a gamble. I, I would say it is a gamble. And I think it's more geared towards like when you've got tech frags to spare. Because what happens if you've got 16 tunes with all the set pieces you could possibly want? What are you going to do with the tech frags at that point? And when right. your cap is capped at 5,000, you got to have Well, I like the way that they designed that because... That means that you get started and it's the people that, that rush their way there and then they've got nothing to do with it. So they start to get these other things, but it makes it easier for everyone else to get those things. And and, and also helps them make some money on the side. So I think it's worth, worth it. You know, helps the community out once they get... Dude, anything that bolsters the viability of crafting is a win. As I as agree. I know friends yeah. that are literally just logging in and crafting. Like, they're playing another game, but they'll keep swapping over and keep their person crafting and doing things. Like, they're having a good time with it. But I know other people that are so angry about it. I have this one friend who's so triggered because he made 500 of the... Um, what is it? Purple med packs to try to get the reusable one because the reusable one is really rare to get. When he finally got it, he's like, "Are you freaking kidding me? That was five hundred med packs!" Like oh. he was raging. He was not happy about it, which of course I just thought was hysterical because this is the first time since Free because to Play launched that I am not doing craft. Are you talking about reverse engineering so these things, and then you, you learn the schematic from reverse engineering? To, that is the only way to get this tier's reusable anything. Okay, so you so, cannot buy it. Hey, so I've heard I didn't that realize that there were that many reusable things that were actually incorporated this time around because they've been phasing that out in the past. Yeah. So that's actually really cool. There's well, a at post. First they were supposed to take them out, but people threw a big 
blankety blank blank fit <laughs> um, enough, yeah. about it. And so they're like, okay, well, we'll keep it. We can call it a you, social media like, fit. But yes. So, so it was, I saw a post on the forums today that's been there most of the week where they were talking about, um, or maybe it was posted today. No, I think it was earlier this week where, where they had spoken about 6.0.2 that's coming out in December and that they are aware that some of the, the reverse engineering wasn't, wasn't working enough for people. And they were going to turn that up, I think. Yeah. Because one of so my coming friends in got December, it after four reverse engineers and then the other one took 500. <laughs> yikes. I'm sure that, yeah, I would be raging too. I don't I, yeah, and coupled with how expensive, I mean, I don't know when they started it, but oh, it's how expensive it is to craft 500. That is why I'm not doing it this year. Is just, I would be, that would be a This is the very thing. first tier that I am not doing crafting. That was one of the things when I started this game that I really enjoyed because I could do it by myself. I didn't have to have anyone else. And that is why I won't uh, untrain a couple. Like I ended up with three armor mechs when the server merges happened. And that is why I won't untrain a couple of my armor mechs and another one of my uh, artifice characters because I have schematics on those characters that you cannot get. I was going to say, yeah, so, especially like shells and stuff. Yeah, and see, that's the thing is, like, because of because of me being able to make Space Barbie pretty, I like having access to those schematics so I can make at any point in time. I don't have to pay for them. I can make them myself. So I won't get rid of those characters for that purpose. And since I can't find a way to get all of my armor mech schematics on one tune, I, I'm stuck with three, which isn't that big of a deal because I have... you got a lot of tunes. 50, I have 50 characters <laughs> on the right. server. Can I, I think I'm going to be okay. Can I just for a second and, and just insert oh, just a no, quick... No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Just a quick comment about that, and then you guys can go back to 6.0. But um, Kirk crafted me this, like, uh, upper body piece mm -hmm. that looks like, what is that, Dark Legionnaire chest piece? But it's an old legacy chest yeah. piece. I, had, I haven't seen half that stuff because when I started, crafting was crap and nobody was doing it. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, oh, nobody my goodness. Like I didn't realize that. There's stuff I need to show you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. So I was like, oh, I'm my God, sure where did this I'm is what sure Swotarista's website is yeah. for. Yeah. She's got, oh, yeah. like, a yeah, bunch of stuff, stuff about that. But, like, I just started looking at it. I've been watching her, like, videos about, like, the top ten, blah, blah, blah. But she doesn't have all of those on there. I mean, like, um, her I, rolled out with that. Uh, that not in the videos. Like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. but I was going to say, some of her older stuff, I remember. Um, There's some actually cool. What I was going to say is I just wish too. we could get more people to maybe make that stuff, but he was saying it's expensive now to make some of the older stuff. Yes. Um, so make to get it, it on the GTS. List it. Yeah, for, list it for 10 million. There you go. Have it be, be cool. No, I'm not about the hyperinflation. See, and, I won't <laughs> do that. If it's expensive I'm, to craft, it's it. expensive to, to buy, I, I would say. It is. And I will say this, that a lot of times I don't put stuff on the GTN on most of my characters because if somebody sees the name Magic, they want to undercut me because I have made some enemies in the community. And so sometimes I <laughs> literally have Love like it. a level 10 character that I don't ever play. And that is in the back of my list. I, like I'll log into all my tunes. Oh, to it's your secret bank. You're back. trading yes, alt. Because yeah. I know like even when I sold my God's mats from God's from the Machine, I would put him on this character most of the time so that people wouldn't know it was me and they wouldn't undercut me so hard. Because, like, I remember one time, this guy that's in this one guild, they're big into Nightmare Rating, and as soon as I put some on there, he's like, oh, he immediately DM'd me, and he's like, I've seen that you put blah, blah, blah on the GTN. He goes, look at, look at it now. And I went and looked, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, he undercut me by literally, like, two million. And I was like, two million? Like, not even, like, 500. Like, two it's, million? It's supposed to be a credit. <laughs> I was like seriously and he did it just to mess with me and, and I was like okay okay I was like I see how it is now so um now I do it on a character nobody knows about and I'll go log into all like 49 other characters to put that tune back on the last page so that when I'm streaming and I go through characters people don't see and be like yo I recognize that name so yeah I'm a little obsessive about it now because I got undercut so many times it's fine though I but otherwise I would craft great. more of that stuff this is a I would great episode. more of that stuff <laughs> So. <sighs> Anyways, uh, also another thing to note, the dark side and light side vendors, I know a lot of people have been capped on their things for so long because you ran out of things to buy. Now, if you go on a level 75 character that has put on your highest item rating gear, like if you have 306 gear, put it on. If you don't, put on whatever highest you can get, even if it's not your class, even if it's not the right stats, get it on, go to that vendor, 
at the very, very bottom, there's a crate now that you can buy for 100 dark side or 100 light side. And you open it up and it's a bunch of gear. And it may be better for you or it may be worse. But I would recommend that if you have nothing to buy with your things at this point, that's Which a good thing to do. Which is most people. It, it, it can't be worse. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Gear. I mean, well, I think I got a couple of, of 304 pieces. I think I got I'm... a couple of 304 pieces. Oh, and it's 400 tech regs. Um, I think I got a couple of, um, like, 304 pieces, but almost everything else I got was 306. So I would say it's worth it if you don't know what to do with them and you're like, man, I would love some better gear. That's a quick way to get it, to be honest. So that's a thing of note. Uh, the other thing is uh, the tacticals that you're talking about that are uh, craftable specific. Those are all only offered off of Kai Zyken, is yes. what the chat room was saying. So we should uh, keep that out there too yeah. for anybody um, that actually wants to dive into the crafting. The friend I'm referencing that makes the sort guides is Scion there in, in chat. So you can you can find his information. Like currently the sort guide that he has was posted by Dolphy, but I think this time around it will be posted by Zamzam. So you can pester him for information because I know I do. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, we, we, do do have one, we do have one note regarding the topic of the day. I just wanted to bounce this off of Elise. So Elise, how have you been enjoying all of the new gear and the whole experience of the end game? <laughs> I'm not at 75 yet, y'all. <laughs> Love it. Shocker. I'm like 73 or something. 74, I don't know. So. Did you get through all of the? Well, I'm like silently an, just listening. Did you get through a playthrough the of the of the new? Oh yeah, I finished the whole thing. I finished it at like 73 or 74. And, and you got down at 73 or 74. Interesting. Man, Wait, okay. What are I you talking about? The story. Here. I used Wait. my DBL gear and an XP boost and did the story and was 75 before I finished the story. How are you not 75? Yeah, only? that's what I'm wondering. I, I was halfway through the thing before Kirk explained to me where the heck my DBL gear was. And by that point, I just didn't put yeah. it on. You want so, to explain to everybody? I, we did it last time, but go ahead and explain again. Yeah, it's it's in your, what is it, Victoria's um, Trailblazer yeah. box or something like that, right? Yeah, and there's three yeah. of the boxes. Right, right. Yeah. So if anybody is like me, who's had, who has like a box of those per every one of your characters and you have like 20 some characters or whatever, after a while you just ignore it and dump it in your, your personal storage. Don't do that. <laughs> you might want to open it yeah. up. And see you actually need to go and look. You should only have one for your legacy. So a lot of people got them in their legacy bank, but some yeah. people, they only get it on like the first character that they log on to the server yeah, when, since the expansion true. came out. This is what I did. I had it on a character already. So I had a set of DVL gear on a character that I was leveling. And then that when they sent... That's high on the old gear, right? It works just fine. I I've was told like, that the I experience games were not uh, registering as high as in the new set. It's 25% versus 50, but still... Like before okay, it was 50. so once twice as much as the other. <laughs> yes, but okay, let's say... I want to get this character to 75 quickly. I put my one that's not broken. I put higher mods and enhancements and armorings in that one. Send it to this character. Run her through. While I've also got the other set that has the lower mods and enhancements that I'm using on lower characters. So I don't have to keep ripping things out. I've got two sets. And since I'm mostly in playing through story-wise or like I'll just hammer station spam. Once I get them to the higher level, I'll take off the lower gear and put my higher gear back on. And it's saving me a lot of credits. So, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, it's not working quite the same. But the system I'm using is working for me. So I'm not complaining about it. I'm like, two sets? That's oh, not like me. That. That, that system works out real nice, actually. Yeah. I mean, I just, what I was much more concerned about, uh, I'm sure I'm not alone, is I just wanted to see the story. Right. So... And that's, you know, that's fine, I, yeah. you know, whatever. And then I had DVL, right? I mean, excuse me. I had extra life at the end of that. So like, Experience you know. Experience or life? What, what do you mean life? No, like I finished and then we had the extra life charity stream. Oh, extra life charity the, stream. Right. Yeah. At the end of that. So I wasn't. You I had something have, way I different in mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean. What do you mean I extra had, life? How did you have extra and, life? But I didn't have time. <laughs> no, I'm to sorry. Yeah. I've been playing thing. a lot of other video games recently. You're so. good. <laughs> So, like, I, that's what I, I had to go and do, like, you know, decorating and stuff and go find decos and buy decos and get credits to go, but I didn't have time to, right. you know. And, uh, and ledge jump for data. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's, so that's me, y'all. 
I have three of the boxes. When you do the story, you get a box, right, for each section of the story or something. Oh, oh, story. oh you just reminded me. Those are all sitting People. in my, like, inventory because I can't open them until I hit 75. So <laughs> very, very That's important. hilarious. This is very, very important, them. and I'm so glad Elise said this. When you're getting Renown crates and you're getting, um, like, these other crates from, like, stories and doing your weeklies on PvP and stuff, put on your highest gear. I don't care if you have to swap gear per character. Put what do you mean by highest? Gear, the highest, highest rating. item rating. Okay. Highest, if, if you've only got 275 and you've only got like, you know, 300, it doesn't matter. Put on the highest of whatever you have. And Even then if open it's the green. Crate. Yes. Don't open the crates Even naked because you get this low, low crap. Exactly. Because the higher rating you are when you open a crate, the higher rewards you're going to get. So there's no benefit, zero benefit to you to open up a crate without all your gear on. So, just thank you, Elise. You said that. I, that's right. The, any of the loot crates or drop crates that you get from doing any bosses, from doing conquest, conquest especially, all of those things. I don't care if you have to log over to like fifteen tunes to gather all your gear up, get all the gear that you can on the highest ones, open it, benefit from whatever gear it has, and then move it to the next one. Open up all those crates, do the same thing, move to the next tune. It, it's annoying at first, but once you get into the habit of doing that, it's worth it because the gains that you're getting make the time worth it instead of trying to grind on each tune. That's my thing. Is it is it okay to actually stockpile those boxes and crates and stuff until, like, then you put can, on the gear later and open a bunch? You know, well, you that can, way. but here's the problem. If you're not already 306 on that character, then you're robbing yourself of a chance to move yourself up in item rating. So, no, that's like, what I'm saying. But while you're leveling, you're getting these boxes and whatever. So don't open them up while you're leveling yeah, until your I next mean, level. Put on your highest gear that you got, and then you can open all of those and bump well, you yourself don't get up. Renowned, you don't get renowned crates until you're 75 anyways. Right, because that's so, CXP. Right, so I don't think that actually applies to that. I know where you're going with it, but if you No, I'm just talking about what Elise before. was referring to, which obviously wasn't renowned crates because she's not 75. Correct. Yeah. I got crates just through those, doing the story. No. Those what I'm talking about crates. is 75. So, and you yeah. can't, it won't even let you open those until you hit 75. So exactly. there's no, like, Oh, so you can't open them. Okay. So, yeah. so once you do hit 75, but on you your will be putting on all your highest rating mm -hmm. items to, to yeah. actually open. And that is okay. for anybody who plays destiny. That's exactly the same method that you use in destiny. Because it doesn't oh good, so it. people should be familiar with this process. If Except they for play my time second. playing Destiny Two is all, you know, accumulated to three days. <laughs> right, but there's plenty of other people. So you guys are reversed. That's what you do. You, you put it. on the highest, even if it's something that you don't like, like weapons or whatever. I hate one particular class of weapon, but I had to put it on because it was my highest rated gun, which bumped my light level up so that the next drop that I got would be higher and I can chuck that crap and get rid of it. Yeah. Now, yeah, now basically, the, put on your legendary trash so you can get other legendary So items. the Renown, <laughs> yeah. let me ask you this. This is about Renown, Renown crates. They Is it when you open them, that's when it runs to check against your gear or is it when it drops? Yes. No, when it opens, which is why I said don't open it. Okay. If you log into a character and you collect your conquest and it gives you crates, and you're like, oh, no, crap, you know, my, my gear is on X character. Log off, go get your gear off that character, log back in, put it on that character, then open your crates. Worth it, I promise, worth it. Right. So I would not I would not just do it impatiently, because I've done that a couple times just out of habit. Like, you open a crate, and you're like, crap! Like, your tune's naked. You're like, why is all this gear green? And it's because your your tune is naked, so it's your fault. Like, So here's you know, your, like, you your entry-level... Oh, yeah, that's level. actually my tip yeah. was like if you if you're using your XP gear that you just got from those crates that Elise and I had a hell of a time finding, put armorings, mods, and enhancements in it in order to raise their item value because otherwise there's zero item value and they're giving you zero value out of yeah, any I'm drops kidding. that you get off of mobs or anything. Like you literally have to populate those. Sorry, that was a big thing for me too, because I went, I was like, oh, here's my XP gains. All I care is I want the XP yeah. to level up quickly. And then I start running around. And I'm like, why am I getting item rating eight gear dropping? <laughs> like, <laughs> rating eight. Stupid. Um, and that, that's why magic is juggling all these sets around with, you know, old yep. trash gear over to <laughs> characters that could use it. You know? I will say um, that the gear bonus that was broken on the old set, I don't know that it's broken now. I haven't tested it, but there has been a patch since then that has worked on some gear. So they may have fixed that. I'll try to test it and let you guys know when we come back in two weeks. Okay. But 
Um, I do know it was only broken on a prior patch and they've not mentioned it still being broken or anything. So I'll have to do a check on that and see what it is. I'll just make a couple of new characters and run them through like the first planet and just see which one is faster with my old gear or my new gear. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I know. Ooh, thank hey, you. One more thing, if you're grinding out, and I don't know if we said this on the last show, but this totally burned me. And I don't know if we said this, but don't forget you're about your light side, dark side toggle. So if you're hammer station grinding, like... Oh, I'm you're like, rocking the wrong one. Yeah, so I was really trying to keep my, like... It just light, light side gets it over and over and over again. At least is what I've experienced so far. In well, I mean, like, I went like, from What's the being... point of even doing this? Well, yeah, but I went from being dark one to dark five because I freaking forgot to turn the toggle off, and I was trying to stay. Oh, you were earning. Middle, just slightly. You're trying to stay neutral. <laughs> yeah, just slightly dark side. I wanted to be kind of gray, slightly dark side, and now I'm at dark five, and I'm gonna have to go and like. <laughs> that, that's uh, run, now you're gonna like, have a light side. Freaking, yeah. Like what that one flashpoint where you have to make Binge all those it. like light dark side choices a whole bunch just to like re level me, or I'm gonna have to go grind a bunch with it on light side, and it's just annoying. So. Don't forget about your toggle. Oh, yeah. Simon mentions a good point. He says, pro tip, to keep a set of 306 gear that isn't any set bonus and that all the bonus gear is locked to that class, um, like, because if you put it in a set bonus, it'll lock it to the class, which is annoying. So if you have, like, a general... So it's not, leg so it's not legacy transferable? It is, but, like, I tried to put my operative gear set on my Merc, and I couldn't because it says you're not an operative. I can't believe so, they put that back in. Man, yeah, they, so, they, are, so what, they take so literally. But you can yeah. pull it out, the, though, and move stupid, Yeah, 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 but, okay, hold on, you guys are missing quote, the point. I learned what you have learned. They do this every this, time. But the point, of the, the point that he's trying to say is, if you have a general set that's oh, not operative tip, or whatever, just a yeah. Dumb thing that BioWare has done. <laughs> it is, but you can put this on any of your classes, any of them. Like there's gen there's general set bonus vendors. Go get general set bonus, and then that way when you're gearing up okay. another tune, it's already 306, and you can just start immediately getting the gear that you need for it. And it'll fit on any one of your characters. So that is a decent pro tip. For opening your crates, by the way. Just saying. That is what that's for. Not for you to run in, but for you to open your crates per that character on. In and the legacy it's... transferable gear set. Yes, which they which all are now. Everything now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm sitting I'm sitting here thinking this through, going, okay, I don't know enough about what is all out there to know what is the one you should be using. Uh, well, you know what you I'm know, saying? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this episode sometime later. Well, and another thing that Neth mentioned in the chat room that is well worth mentioning is that all of this is uh, generating achievements. All the different gear sets and bonuses and everything is giving you achievements. So just but keep going of everything. not from vendors. Not from vendors, though. If you're getting them in drops or in crates, it's going towards right, the achievement. If you're buying you're them off of vendors. Along the way, just keep one of everything. Yeah. Well, and once it gets in your inventory, like if your friend's running a flashpoint and one of your friends wins, you say, hey, can you trade that to me for a second? It goes into your inventory and it counts towards the achievement. So then you can trade it back to them. Like I've had friends Fair all enough, over the world. But if you like Sakari and don't know what to keep, just keep one of everything. Yeah, Sakari. Yeah, I'm I sorry. Was that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a total success. Somebody's going to end up running out of room at that point. There's Try also exactly. something to be said about keeping one of everything for like a tacticals and stuff. Because that's one of the, or even like set bonuses. One of the things that you need to be aware of is that BioWare has actually been hot changing some of the stats. Because I that was one of the things I saw on Twitter recently was somebody was all excited because they finally got their 6P set bonus. And then two days later, that set bonus was changed. Oh, <laughs> so, no. <laughs> yeah, and it was talking about hashtag <laughs> raging. Well, so, to be fair, though, some of that stuff is broken. So, for, as a merc, if you have the specific tactical for your supercharged gas, it's insane. After I pop supercharged gas and I use my cultal missile, it immediately gives me second seven stacks. So, and you need 10 to be able to pop supercharged gas again. So literally almost on cooldown, I have supercharged gas. It's insane. It's stupid broken. Like, I can understand four stacks. But seven? Like, right. BioWare. And I can understand you anybody know what, taking any advantage kind of, of it while it works that way. And I can totally understand BioWare making an adjustment. And you should keep backups of other alternatives for when those changes come. <laughs> 
uh, and also like the stat bonus that they're talking about um, is the PT one, which was insane. Also similar to the Merc one that I was mentioning, that it is it was like insane. <laughs> Listening to one of them tank TFB with that, he was like, "That's impossible. This shouldn't still be up. This is up again. Oh my gosh, this is crazy!" Like he just couldn't believe it because it made him like insanely overpowered. So to just, be uh, fair, yeah, some of the adjustments. Yeah, some of the adjustment adjustments are needed. And while, yes, it may upset people, it's like, be fair, people. Like, balance is important in this game. That's why they took away the versatility of the original skill tree that people had. Because it's hard to balance like that. How do you balance PvP or PvE in that way? So I know people will get their panties all it's, up on a lot well, over let's, it. Let's but put it this way. It's not hard fair. to balance. It's just hard to deal with the reactions. If you balance a lot frequently all the time and think people's things are changing constantly, they'll eventually adjust and, and expect it. Yes. So yes. just get over it. Well, it's not, like I <laughs> and said, let, let Bioware do their job to make a good game, not to <laughs> allow a broken thing to remain because your panties are going to get in a twist. Like, yeah, you know. like, let's be fair. Honestly, like, let's be fair. Like, people are, there's no way Bioware loves Sork enough to leave us alone. Lightning Source oh, yeah. is going they're, to they're get gonna, nerfed at some they're point. They're going to nerf you. Like, and yeah. it hurts. I'm already, like, Just enjoy, so well, mad you can. at Bioware. My, yeah. my anticipation of them is making me angry beforehand. Like, every time someone says that, I'm like, you shut your dirty mouth. Nobody wants to hear that, okay? I, I For months, get, almost get, a get your year, 15 minutes I had to hear sun. people... Yeah, yeah, I had to hear people for almost a month, like, yell at... Oh, she's bringing a sword. She's sandbagging the group. And I'm like wanted to strangle people and now we have our limelight yeah we so, get to no, no no here you know of being one of the top specs and then so listen we know up. they're gonna nerf it it's you, not fair don't overuse it because if you overuse Actually, it you give them the data they fair. need you don't want no, them to have the not. data to, to say oh it's okay look the data says we need to nerf this so if you if you underuse it ever so slightly they don't have the data <laughs> you gotta think like okay, bioware this is why it's called <laughs> no no you you don't underuse it and enjoy it while it lasts is what you do because it's it is totally fair because everybody classes every class has had it it will happen dude freaking gunslingers hybrid gunslingers before they eliminated skill trees were so op out of the just crazy awesome and i loved it every moment and then for three years they were trash Abject trash. Still trash. But that's okay because I still have the memories of how wonderful and enjoyable it was when they were just amaze balls. Okay, but you don't understand where I'm coming from on this because I was a healer main who had the audacity to foray into DPS. And what did I pick? The lowest parsing spec in the game. Why did I do this? Because it's my favorite. At and even point, though. Because uh, it's sword. Lightning swords though, have been very good in the past. Yeah, so. <laughs> I literally was in the channel with the guy who wrote the guide, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to make a lightning sword. And I was asking him questions as I made it, and he goes, he tells me everything I need to know, and he goes, but now I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Play something else. I'm like, ah, what? And he goes, play something else. It's really not good right now. It's not good, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but I love it. I want to play it. I've played Madness for years. I want to play lightning now. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, that's actually, we'll you know, play that's... a different class. And There's now, a perfect class. now Sorks have it. Now Sorks have it. And all these little guys who were playing Mara and Jug for, you know, the last three years suddenly are all like, oh, I'm a Sork main. And it's just disgusting. Oh, there's there's a, which, there's a perfect, wait, I want operative DPS to have its day in the sun. There is a perfect uh, operative is complimentary the story operative to this, which is actually the sharpshooter gunslinger. It is viscerally the yeah. most enjoyable play style Sharp ever. Sharpshooter. Success. But it has never been viable DPS. Like there are, there have been unique circumstances like that it happens to be okay. Like one boss out of fifty. Yeah. But generally, it is the worst class to play. But it feels so good to play it. It is just an enjoyable play style. Honestly, anyway, concealment is o'clock. doing fantastic right now. I mean, lethality is too. But concealment is doing fantastic right now. If you've ever wanted to play operative, now's the time. But learn how to use med packs and DCDs. That's all I'm saying. All okay, right. go ahead. Yeah, so that we're going to end the discussion right there because I'm pretty sure we could talk for another hour about all of this gearing stuff. Uh, maybe we will. Who knows? Um, but in the meanwhile, what we're going to do is uh, skip into announcements. And in all honesty, I don't think I have anything I really actually want to announce. Uh, we mentioned earlier in the show, 6.0.2 is bringing some crafting changes. 
um there's a, a post in the uh um uh, my eyes begin to glaze over when i start to read some of those things so i'll link it in the show notes by all means uh, go read them yourself that's coming in december at some point that's all i actually have to announce uh magic if we are good to go why don't you let me know that we are thankful we're why here. don't we have elise do it since i've done my fair <laughs> maybe <laughs> she's so. not had a lot to say <laughs> elise has been like hey i'm just happy y'all are carrying this <laughs> 73 what can i say <laughs> it's the new 73 so, it's all right 73 is a new hashtag 70 <laughs> somebody's yelling gear elise anyway just want to say thank you i'm not going to be able to do it as well as magic ace but thank you for coming thank you for chatting Thank you for giving advice in the chat, especially for those of us who are 73 and don't know anything. Um, thank you for showing up and retweeting for us. Magic Ace would need to say something about the haters. because To our haters is- on Reddit, <laughs> we would love to say thank you. We appreciate you. You're very important to us. I knew she couldn't <laughs> That resist. is good as the being magnanimous <laughs> about the haters. Anyway, <laughs> Redna, you're up. All right. That brings us to the end of the episode. The council is adjourned. If you'd like to reach us, you can email us at the council at thecouncilscotor.com. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash thecouncilscotor. You can find Elise on Twitter at abrown35. Magic Ace at the Magic Ace. Me at R3D4. And Sakari at I am Sakari. Also, don't forget our Patreon page at patreon.com slash thecouncilscotor, where patrons can catch the articles we're talking about behind the scenes and exclusive backstage access to our after show chat. That's it for this week, guys. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? I understand. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. What? How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Take a seat, young Skywalker. Forgive me, master.